This talk wouldn't be complete if we didn't discuss how do we earn the abilities to forgive others. Right or wrong? How do we earn this ability? And I was thinking about this and on my way here to this particular talk, I jotted a few points uh, on paper and inshallah I still have them in my mind. Islam teaches us how to develop qualities of al-afu and as safah These qualities that Allah commanded Abu Bakr radiallahu an towards and the qualities of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the qualities of Yusuf alayhi salam. The scholars say that we should become people that don't allow ourselves to drown in the heat of moments when we become angry. In the Arabic language, this is known as al-istighraq fil lahzat al-hadira. Al-istighraq fil lahzat al-hadira. Drowning in the heat of the moment. We become angry and we let the moment get the better of us. So bang, you divorce your wife. This is, this is a result of not forgiving. And some people think they men, right? Like one of our mashayikh said to us that once a person was troubling his wife and his wife told him, you're not a man, you're not a man. If you're a man, divorce me. He says, you're saying I'm not a man. I'm a man, you're divorced. Then he went into regret and he went to the sheikh. The sheikh said, you're not a man. You divorced her, you're not a man. You were a man if you didn't. We drown in the heat of the moments. And we've seen how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the people of Jannah are those who suppress their anger when they become angry. Don't allow yourself to drown in the heat of the moment. Let your iman guide you when somebody upsets you. Sometimes we become emotional, right? And we always have this discussion. Should we think with our mind or should we think with our heart? And the answer to that question is, let your mind govern your heart and let the Sharia govern your mind. Some people think with their mind and the mind takes them astray. Our mind has intellect, but we should use our mind behind the screen of the Sharia. The Sharia governs and ties this mind. And that's why the mind is called Al-Aqal. Al-Aqal in the Arabic language refers to something tied. The mind is tied. It doesn't do anything and everything. The mind doesn't do everything and anything. Rather, the mind does that which is right. Allah says, فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا Allah has inspired this nafs, right? The nafs. The body and the soul, Allah has inspired it to know good from bad. So our mind is tied. And when we become emotional, we should let our mind come in and understand right from wrong and understand that we are believers and we are people from Iman and we should suppress anger. Suppress anger.